Shalom Rastafari. We haven't listened to this once of access to some translation of what's being said in this particular uh, YouTube's video that says Ethiopia. I really should say careless Ethiopians, but Ethiopia may sell the Ark of the Covenant. And I know a lot of folks, when they get to check this out or hear this rumor, or it might be real news, maybe they are going to sell an Ark of the Covenant. You know, every church in Ethiopia has an Ark of the Covenant. Who knows where the real Ark of the Covenant is in Ethiopia? So who knows what kind of games this may be, or this might be the real thing. We know that Ethiopia already has her respective judgment, you know, from King of Kings time to the present time. But we are going to check out this particular video and give thanks, Sis, Sister Fanai. Um, site media for giving us this link right here and we're going to check it out but the thing we wanted to say to our brothers and sisters who might see this particular um, article or news and let not your heart be troubled as our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christos Jesus Christ has told us let not your hearts be troubled Ethiopia careless Ethiopia has her judgment and so we're going to hear about a lot of type of rumors and even real news that's not going to be so pleasant for us. But remember, the Ark of the Covenant, who empowers the Ark of the Covenant? Whose Ark is it? You see, those who will sell it or sell an Ark of the Covenant, like we said, who knows which Ark they're going to sell. There's a lot of different Arks of the Covenant, whether it's really even a real a real news. But the Ark belongs to us, brothers and sisters, us in the diaspora. And as we did it before and as he did it for us, then he can do it for us again. And we can build our own Ark of the Covenant. Remember, who empowers the Ark of the Covenant? It is Yahweh who empowers the Ark of the Covenant. And the careless Ethiopians, just remember Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 12, where it says, Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword. But to the brothers and sisters out there, the Ethiopian Hebrews in the Commonwealth and the elect Rastafari, as the word says in uh, St. John's Gospel, I think is chapter 14, let not your heart be troubled. Ye who admit in the King of Kings and his Christ, admit also in I and I. We can do it again brothers and sisters, and he can do it for us again. But as far as this particular article here and this particular news clip, which is in the heart, we're going to check it out and give you our commentary or opinions or any facts or evidence we can share about this. But don't let your heart be troubled about, about this. You understand? Let not your heart be troubled. 